Hi, I'm Bonnie Smith for Paper Wizard, and I'm here with so much doodle buggy goodness, I can't stand it. I've got grab bags, and honestly, grab bags, grab boxes, grab packages from Doodlebug with some of your favorite things in them. Plus, I have a preview of all the shadow box inserts that we are carrying on our site, and they are available right now, today. And to be fair, limited quantity. So go grab yours, haha, -ha, see what I did there? But before that, let me show you some of the fun. Come on in, Elise, let's show them. Eric is on a trip. He's in New Hampshire at CKC. So I have Elise with us. Elise is our online order manager, and you may have spoken with her on the phone before. She's fun and she's smart and she helps me a lot. So we love Elise. All right, Elise, let's see, where do we start? Let's start over here. So look at this. It's not even just a grab bag. It's a grab Chinese takeout. <laughs> and it's Braddy's. And there are 20 in here with a $60 value. And it is $24.99. So that's a really good deal. Plus, it's so cute. Can you, uh, how are we sending these? That should be fun. We'll get the right size box for you. Don't worry. And then, oh, I think this is our favorite. Um, this bag, it's a vinyl bag. So it's not paper. So this is reusable and it's really cute. It's got a little snap. We've got some baker's twine and it's the embellishment grab bag. <laughs> I think, I think, I think I need this one. You know I'm gonna get one, I hope. And then over here, ooh, that's heavy. We have the washi grab bag or box. And there's lots and lots of washies. There's 15 pieces in here. It's a $60 value and it is $24.99. Oh, you know what? Did I tell them how much was in this one? I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I did. This is the super good value. There's 29 things in here. It's a $115 value, and it's $29.99. So, yeah. You've got a friend having a birthday that loves paper crafting? These are great gifts. One of each should be fine. <laughs> Wait, it's your birthday, right? Okay. The ribbon grab bag box. Look how cute this box is. And there are 40 different ribbons in here, and it says it's an $80 value, $24.99. So awesome. And then down here, we have paper, 40 sheets of paper. Now, again, remember, Doodlebug uses a palette, so all the paper is going to match all of their other paper. So this is a great deal, and get yours. Yeah, yeah, get yours, because I don't think I ordered enough. I'm, I'm a little worried I didn't order enough. How much is in there? Oh, how much is in there? 40 sheets for $14.99. Can you believe that? I That one stymies me. I thought for sure it'd be at least $19.99. But it's $14.99. And then we have, oh, this is such a cute paper bag. Bright yellow polka dots, so cute. $19.99 for 20 different rub-ons. Wow, that's a, what does that say? $85 value. Nice. And then this one is one of my favorites too because I can't believe the value. These are the stickers and it's a sticker grab bag and it's so cute. And you get 25 different sheets of stickers. It's a $105 value. It's $14.99. This is a really good deal. It's a really good deal. So it's, unless you don't like stickers, but it's doodle bug. So yeah, enough said. But my favorite one is the Doodle Pop box. Look how cute this cute little box is. All wrapped up and ready to surprise somebody with some pops. There are 20 Doodle Pops in here. It's a $40 value and it is $19.99. So Doodle Pops, half price. You gotta love that, a dollar each. So this is all of the grab bags and boxes and packages that they have. We've got some of each. Um, we have more of a few of these that I thought would sell maybe a little bit more and we have less of some of the others so definitely if you're interested I don't want to disappoint you so get in there and get what you want but on top of that we also picked up some other fun stuff let me show you well let's start here the doodle ball doodle bog doodle bun shadow box inserts the shadow box kits check this out now this is the cute and crafty. How's the glare, Elise? Great. Okay, so I'll hold it here. This is a kit that you will put together. Now the shadow box here is super cute, but I'll be honest, 
Shipping is very expensive on shadow boxes and I worry about the glass. So I will tell you that Michaels sells some shadow boxes that are super cute and they do them um, in threes of the eight by eight and twos in the 12 by 12. And this would be a great little project for one of their shadow boxes. I feel like you could um, easily use one of theirs. So this is so cute, but the thing is, is I didn't have time to put it together. So I asked Elise to do it for me. And she said it was actually really easy and took her about 45 minutes. So let me show you one of these opened up so that you can see what you get and you can see the instructions because I think this is really cool how they did this. If you look here, you can see, and then Elise can also talk about her experience putting it together. Um, so you have this on the front, so you have this great color picture, and then inside you have this vellum here, and then you have your instruction sheet here, and another piece of white paper so that you can put it behind the vellum when you're done and put it in your shadow box. So here is what happens. Now, your supplies, your stickers, and your sprinkles on this one. Everyone's, some of them have doodle pops in them. They all have, you know, what they need to, to get the job done. So then what you do is you just lay it on top. And then you said a cute thing to me too. Well, not a cute mm -hmm. thing, but it's, I think so smart. Um, the pieces, the pieces that have an X on them are pop dotted. And we actually do have some pop dots on our website too, if you need them. Um, you liked the ones that were the two different sizes, right? Yes, I used both sizes. Yes. So, and then you can see here that some of these are pop dotted. Tilt. This Tell way. me which way. This way. There you go. And you can see that some are and some aren't. So it gives you that textured, dimensional, finished look, which I think is cool. So that's what you want to do. So you definitely want to have some pop dots on hand. Most of you probably do because hello, we're scrapbookers and paper crafters. That's what we do. And then as you can see this though, what I really like about this is you have two pictures. So you have the instructions that are very clear and you know, very specific on how to do things. And then you have another color picture next to it that you can literally look at while you're doing because it's, it's clear. This one, of course, with the vellum on top is now a little fuzzy but with all of this going on you can easily put this together and at least very carefully put this together and you said it took you how long 45, 45. minutes yeah 45 minutes so let me show you some of the options that we have for you because the cute and crafty one not I'd be honest I'm partial to this one because I'm gonna put it in my craft space I love it so super cute, I'm excited to get it up on the wall. Oh, and then I forgot to show you this. This is what's left over. You still have some pieces left over. So when you're done completing it, you still have all of this. And if you buy one kit, oh, that's and right. then you buy, you can buy the icons, sprinkles. the sprinkles that you need and make as many as you want, as long as you're willing to go buy some extra vellum. Yeah. And give it as gifts. Yeah, actually that's a really smart idea because that is gonna be a lot less expensive. So that, good good idea there. And then, here we go. Oh, look at all these. Okay, these are so cute. I, It's like, just start, just dive in. So check out this, so cute. And you see everything. It's the Winter Wonderland Shadow Box Insert or Collection. And you can see everything there. And they're different prices. They range from $20.99 up to $27.99, I think you said. Mm -hmm. Here's St. Patrick's Day. You feeling lucky? This one's really cute. I almost didn't buy this one because it already happened, but um, it was too cute. I had to. And here's Let It Snow, one for Christmas. Let's go this way. Okay, just whenever you need to, just pull it down so they can see it. Yep. Now, here's the fun idea that Allison from Doodlebug gave me. She said an idea is to make these, and you can see they're eight by eight, and pop them in one of their eight by eight albums. So you just pop it in a little sleeve, and you have them all organized, and then you can pull out whichever one you want and put it in when you're doing like a seasonal decor change. So things like Christmas, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, 
anything like planning a trip to the mouse you can put this up and let your kids know it's like a little hint Ooh, scavenger hunt fun you can have so many fun things that you could do with these but i thought the really cute idea she said is then on the other side of the page you could actually have some pictures so it could be like a little mini album that you occasionally pulled um, some of the pages from to display in your home how cute would this be for a little kid's room or a nursery I just think this is darling. My boys had like a safari jungle room when they were young. They were like four and two. And I would have loved this on the wall. That would have been so cute. Oh, this is one of my favorite collections, pumpkin spice. I love it. Look at the bear. So cute. The little fox and the donuts. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Let's not forget about the donuts. And then, oh, Sasquatch and the Great Outdoors. This is another one that could be really cute in a kid's room. You know, if you did like an outdoorsy theme, I think that would be fun. And for those of you who love Happy Haunting and Halloween, we've got this with the cool house right dead center. Ah, see what I did there? Dead center. But you, you can see, again, everything comes that you need. So all the fun stuff. And then, oh my goodness, lots of love. Also cute for maybe a nursery. I think this could be used in more ways than just Valentine's. And one of my favorite all-time collections, Made with Love. With all the baking and the sugar and the sweetness. Love it. Bake me so happy. <laughs> And then, oh, this is coming up, Land That I Love. Love it. I love the bright blues that they use. And this would be a great gift for a teacher, either one of your children's teachers or a teacher who's a friend of yours. Or if you're a teacher, I think this would be super cute on your wall, especially at the beginning of the school year. But seriously, if you're a homeschool mama, you wanna be a teacher, you're a teacher, right? That'd be cute in your homeschool room. And oh my goodness, summer. Look at all the citrusy goodness. Flip flops, the flip flops have faces. <laughs> and then two of my absolute favorites because I dream of becoming a grandmother someday. I would love to do one of these or possibly one of the other ones if they did, you know, four. A little shadow box and I think those are so sweet this would have matched my boys room my we goodness, had teddy bear tea party has glasses the stork has glasses and the sun I love the sun and this is another one that would be great in a kid's room or just fun or cute on a page too with a visit to the petting zoo or you know a farm and then look see again all the cuteness in the back this one has two sprinkles, plus, well, three sprinkles, the enamel dots and the other shaped sprinkles. So, and some of them, oh, some of them had pop dots in them too, didn't they? Yes. The I'm trying to figure out Fun at the one. park. Oh, where is that one at? It's here somewhere. There it is. This one had, yeah. So some of them have pop, I said pop dots. I meant doodle pops. <laughs> that has the castle and that castle goes right in the middle. And this one has Santa in a doodle pop, and he goes right in the middle as well. I think that's just excessively cute. I'm sorry. We talk about being extra. These are all very extra in the best way possible. So I, I, I keep on and I want to talk some more about all the cute this is, but you guys probably want to go check it out for yourself and see what works for you. So all of this is up on paperwiz.net right now. And I'm going to put some links underneath the video so that you can go get yours. I'm Bonnie Smith for Paper Wizard, representing a little bit of doodlebug here. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Happy scrapping.